An unbiased active noise cancelling headphones review. This is how I do it. Disclaimer, Q30 was sent to me for free, with no compensation. I'm doing this out of personal interest. Results are quantified and objective. You will hear it and see it. Please wear a good pair of headphones when watching this review. I will stop this voiceover and my conclusion will be at the end of this video. Battery high. Normal. Transparency. Noise canceling. Twenty seven. Normal. Normal. Transparency. Noise canceling. Let's try Bose. Bose. Two DB quieter.
Transparency. Noise cancelling. Normal. Transparency. Noise cancelling. Transparency. Transparency. Noise cancelling. Normal. Transparency. Transparency. Noise cancelling. Normal. Transparency. Noise cancelling. Let's try those again. Uncontrolled environment, the real world test. I brought my rig in a shopping mall in front of an Apple store. I was denied entry by the Apple staff because obviously an appointment is required at this time of year. I'm going to crank up the gain all the way to 10. Battery high. Normal. Transparency. Noise cancelling. Transparency. 
Normal. Noise cancelling. Let's test both. The wireless range is crucial, so let's test it. I came up with this setup so I can do this alone. It was a beautiful sunny day and I hope the neighbors won't notice. Q20 in wired mode is used for monitoring the whole process so I know if something goes wrong. According to the spec, the range is 15 meters, about 50 feet. Should we trust it?
there a number we can call for your parents? For your hair. You have cancer. using the built-in mic of Soundcore Q30 on an iPhone 11 in the Voice Memo app. In my opinion, this is the best way to demonstrate the audio quality of the microphone. And now let's listen to Bose QC35. I'll switch to that headphone. You are listening to the audio sample from the building mic of Bose QC35. What do you think? Did you hear the difference? In my opinion, the Bose QC35 has a far more superior microphone than the Q30. However, in normal situation and during a call, the other party won't notice such a big difference. This is the highest recording I can get from a voice memo app. And that's the only way I know how to test the microphone. So please like and subscribe. I spent hours of editing and designing these uh, testing stands. And uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comments below. And thank you very much. Yeah, this is definitely a lot, a lot louder than the Q30. Normal. Transparency. Noise cancelling. This review is getting very long, so I'm not going to test the EQ settings here. Perhaps that's for another video. Normal. Noise cancelling. Charging test. I have a USB power meter plugged into a power bank using the included Type C cable. Power on. Well, that is pretty fast 6.7 watts. So the state of charge of this headset is around 70%. And I only had to charge it once, and I never fully depleted this uh, headset before. I use it daily for work. The uh, voltage dropped to 4.33 watts. So overall, I think it is the real fast charging considering how small the battery pack is. Oh, and also the headphone is turned off when it's getting charged. So you cannot use Bluetooth here. So the good news is we can use the included aux cable to listen to music in the wired mode when it is getting charged. The Bluetooth will be turned off. So at least you can still use your headphone if you have an audio jack. Some final thoughts. Soundcore Q30 is an outstanding alternative to the more expensive Bose QC35. It offers similar active noise cancellation performance, comfort, and audio quality with an extraordinary Bluetooth range. 
The weakest point is the microphone audio quality compared to Bose. But at this price point, I really couldn't find a better one. If you travel a lot on a plane with huge engine noise, Bose QC35 is the ideal choice. Please see and hear my review with a hair blower if you missed that. In an office setting or everyday life, Soundcore Q30 is just fine. Q30 also has several improvements over the previous gen. Type-C charging, NFC, officially supports connections to two devices at the same time. And it fixed the cracking sound bug when ANC is enabled on Q20. The build quality on Q30 is excellent. Metal components were used in the headband and based on my previous uh, one year of extensive use of Q20, I can tell that it's going to be very durable as well. I never used the headphone case for the Q20 and after a year, it held up just fine. If I have to be nitpicky, I found the skinny buttons on the Q30 more difficult to use than the Q20 or QC35. I would prefer the bigger buttons. Please like and subscribe if you find this review helpful. I will leave a lot more detailed links down below. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna make a teardown video on the Q20. Uh, so we're gonna rip it apart and see what it looks inside. That's another video for the future.